Congratulations for registering on the STEM School Label platform and making the first important step towards ensuring your school has a STEM strategy. The STEM School Label is a service of Scientix, the community for science education in Europe, funded with the support of the European Commission. If you have read the Prepare Your Self-Assessment Process section, you might already have a good idea of the general process. In this timeline, you can see the whole accreditation process, starting with the main steps that need to be completed to obtain the label, tips on how to prepare, and leading up to receiving the label and the possibility of resubmission. Now, let's take a closer look at the three key steps to obtaining the label. First, you need to upload your school practice evidence and case studies to the platform. The school practice evidence can be any document which shows how your school activities, actions or programs address one or more STEM school criterion. While case studies are short reports on your school's past events and connected to one of the 21 STEM school criteria. Keep in mind that it takes around 7 working days to evaluate your evidence and any follow-up changes, so make sure to upload the documents ahead of time. Next, you should obtain the official declaration from your head of school approving the submission. Once you get the approval, you will only need to submit your school's self-assessment form. Keep in mind that this form consists of 21 questions that address the 21 STEM school criteria. How to make sure you receive a label? Well, your label depends on the self-assessment form score, the school practice evidence you submit, and your active contribution to the STEM school label activities. Here are some tips on how to improve your chances. Get involved on the platform by taking advantage of the forum area where you can ask questions, see what other schools are concerned about, or simply introduce yourself. Next. To draw inspiration for your own submission, look at examples of school practice evidence and case studies on the platform. Remember, evidence is crucial for self-assessment process. The checklists for the seven key elements defining a STEM school can also help you find out which activities would be suitable as evidence. After you have explored the information and resources on our platform, it's time to get down to business and discuss with other school staff what would be the best approach for your school. The competent label is based on the results of the self-assessment form. To be considered for a more advanced label, your school needs to have approved school practice evidence for each of the STEM school label criteria. What happens after submission? When you submit your self-assessment form, your school receives a score, and you will be immediately notified whether your school has reached the competent label or it needs to improve its STEM strategy a bit more. If you did not receive a label, don't worry. Your school will have the opportunity to improve its STEM strategy based on the suggestions in the action plan you will receive, as well as to upload more SPEs and case studies as proof of your activities. Furthermore, the school's form will reopen in three months and you will be able to resubmit then. If you received the competent label, congratulations. You are on your way to ensuring your school has a robust STEM strategy. Schools with a new competent label are reviewed on the last five working days of each month to determine if their label could be upgraded to the proficient or expert label. In any case, self-assessment forms reopen 12 months after a label is obtained, while the school's label expires in 18 months. We look forward to learning about your school's STEM strategy and helping you achieve even more.